What is up guys, I am back with part 2 on how to build this traditional house. And in this video, I should be finishing the exterior of the house. If not, then we should just about get it done. And then in part 3, if we don't get it done in this video, I should then be finishing the exterior. But now, let's go ahead and get right into doing that. Alright guys, so I went ahead and grabbed some of the blocks we're going to be using. So I have some pillar quartz blocks, bricks, gray concrete, white stained glass panes, quartz stairs, blocks of quartz, quartz slabs, dark oak wood stairs, and dark oak wood slabs. Alright guys, so I'm going to switch to my bricks. I'm going to go to this middle section here right at the front side of the house. And I'm going to start right here on this second block from the right. Not the corner, but right here. And I just want to add three more layers of brick. So above these windows, it's four in total. Okay, and then what we want to go ahead and do is place one on each side. And then you can switch to your gray concrete and we're going to have a two block wide window on each side. And then you can add one more block of brick on each side of that window. And then we could just add three more layers of gray concrete. So you just want to make the same window design that we did for the rest of the house already. So just some upside down quartz stairs and white stained glass panes. All right, then let's switch to our bricks. We'll go ahead and add a layer just wrapped around every side of the window. Okay, then let's go ahead and switch to our pillar quartz block. And I believe we had part of the roof right here for the first floor of the house. So I guess we'll do... Here, I'll go ahead and bring up a pillar right here in the corner, and we'll make adjustments later on if needed. So we just do that on each side. And then we just have a little center piece that juts out a little bit in the middle. So you could have a pillar quartz block in each corner right here. We'll just bring this straight up to the same height as everything else. All right. Then we'll switch to our blocks of quartz. We'll go down an extra layer and just add some quartz right there. Let's bring this pillar down one more block as well. Because we're going to have our roof right here for like the front porch. So half of the blocks are still going to be showing. Alright, what else do we got? I guess we'll leave it at that. Because I gotta remember exactly how tall I had this middle section because the window was a little bit taller. So for the front side of the house, make sure you just added that right now. Alright, let's continue with our blocks of quartz and we're gonna add two layers on each side of the pillars. So one, two, like that. We'll bring this up to the same height. Then we can switch to our white stained glass panes and we'll just bring this up, this section right here, up four layers. So that's two, three, and then four. We'll switch to our block of quartz. We'll bring it in one space like that. Then we'll fill in three spaces. Switch back to your block of quartz and we'll bring it in one more. So you just have one space right there in the middle. Let's continue bringing all of this up. We'll add an additional layer on top of this. And then we'll bring up our pillars in the corner. Whoops, as well. All right, so like I said, just a little bit of a bigger window right there. And then just to make it easier to do the roof, let's add one more layer on top of this brick and these pillars in the corner. Okay, there we go. So now, let's see, that's what the front side is looking like. I guess we'll go to like each side and we'll start filling in all of these walls. 
is then we could start bringing up like doing all the roof for the lower sections and the middle sections and then that's probably all i'm going to be doing in part two so we just have to bring up the walls for the middle section and do the roof for the house then in part three i'll probably do like the front porch the back balcony all of the windows and the roof then we'll do like all of the landscaping and stuff Anyways, make sure the front side of the house is looking like this right now. So I'll get a little bit closer so you can see just in case if it was a little bit confusing. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start shaping out the roof. So it just makes it a lot easier to bring up the rest of the walls. So I'm going to switch to my quartz stairs. And I want to make sure I'm on the third block from this corner. So we have one right here, two, and then three. So I want an upside down quartz stair just one block higher than the wall that we brought up. Then you can add two more like that. Then a quartz slab in the corner. Then we'll have a quartz stair and a quartz slab again. We'll go to this side. And we'll go ahead and just do the same thing. This is going to be brought back all the way to the back. But we'll just start where we started at that side. So just an upside down quartz stair like that. Two more, then a slab as a corner, then a stair and a slab. Then we'll start forming the triangle shape. So you can switch to your quartz stairs. Place one on the corner like that. Then an upside down one behind it. And then you can start forming the shape until you just have them both meet in the middle. So just a regular one and an upside down one. Back and forth like this. And I would say the middle is on the right side of this window for this side. So we'll bring it up one more. So it's lined up with the side of that window. Then we'll go down and bring up this side. Alright, so they both met up like that. And let's go ahead, we'll go behind these shapes, we'll switch to our brick, and we'll just fill in all of the empty space. So make sure, I always say this, not to go out too far to where it's on the outer side of these stairs like that. You want to make sure it's just all on this inner space. So we'll continue filling all of this in, just right along the edge of the inner, like the upside down stairs basically. All right, then what I did was I added a little detail here so we could delete four spaces like that. I just left about like a block and a half remaining. And then I want to wrap around four quartz stairs like this. Then we'll go from the inside, switch to some blocks of quartz and fill in the empty space behind that. So that just adds a little bit of a cool touch of detail in that little shape there. And I guess we'll go ahead and start forming the triangle shape on this side now. So we have like the front triangle shapes for the right and left side done. Okay, so for this one, we'll, uh, we'll go to this, this shape that juts out a little bit first. We'll switch to our quartz stairs. We'll place one facing in that direction and then in that direction. Then we'll fill in the corner is that we'll have a slab right there as well. So a slab in the corner and a slab right there. We'll switch to our quartz stairs. Oh wait, I gotta bring this up one more block higher. So like we did over there, we don't want it on this edge. We want it to be one block higher. Sorry about that. So like that. Is that we'll do the same right here. Okay, then our slabs. And then we'll switch back to our quartz stairs. We'll bring this. We'll like curve it right there. Bring this until we're right on the edge. Then we'll have another slab here. It has three more stairs. So one, two, three. So it's the same as that side. So let's see. Okay, we have to bring it in a little bit more. So that's four. And then five. Because this does come out a little bit more. That's why. So we just want to make sure these are at the same edge. Is The reason why we're stopping them here is because we actually have our front porch. Which, let's go ahead and just bring these stairs straight across, so they're matched up. 
like that. So that's how it's going to be for the front porch. That's right where it's going to be marked out. So we just have that all done. All right, let's continue. Let's go to this side. Once again, make sure you're just one block higher. We'll have an upside down quartz stair on each side like that. Then a slab in the middle. Is that a slab on this side? Then we'll go ahead, we'll form a triangle shape for this part that juts out one extra block. And then the other triangle shape is going to kind of like flow into this one, but it's not going to be an actual like complete triangle. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. But first let's get this triangle shape done because it makes it a lot easier to do the other one. Okay, so we have that one done. Now what we want to do, we'll go back up here. And we want to make sure we're on top of this stair right here. So we'll place a stair like that, and then we'll place one more to the left. You can then delete this one. So now if you like go back here, if you look at it from a certain angle, you can kind of see how it looks like it's flowing together still. So that's what we want. Then we could start bringing up this side. And then you kind of want to curve it back down into that other one right there. So it kind of makes a big triangle shape. So we'll continue bringing this up. So we'll bring it up to about right there. Then we'll start bringing this side up. And then we'll bring this side up. And then as you can see, there's one space remaining in the middle. So you just want an upside down stair and a slab. So as you can see, we just formed kind of like two triangle shapes like that. You can then switch to your brick. We'll go from the inside and we'll fill it in the same way that we did that side. It's gonna be a little bit different over here though. So first, let's do the easy part. Let's just fill in all of the space behind this shape. All right, then we'll go to this one. And I guess you could fill in this layer right here. Not really necessary, but then we'll work our way up. We'll fill all of this in. And you can stop it right here on the edge of these bricks that we filled in for that space. So we'll start up here. Bring it in until you're just right on the edge of that brick. Start here, bring it in. Now we're on the edge of that brick. So you could just continue doing that until you just have all the space filled in. All right, so we're going to stop that one there. And then we're just going to work our way up and fill in the remaining space. So as you can see from this side, it's all filled in. And then from this side, it is all filled in. We just have a little space here for these stairs, which we're going to have. So I guess we'll go ahead and we'll do the stairs real quick. So what I'm going to do is just start a stair here. Then we'll add it on top of this layer of quartz stairs like that. I'll just leave it like that. If you wanted to, you could curve it and leave it like that. But I think what I'm going to do is just have it straight across. Then let's go ahead and bring up the wood stairs and fill in the space, this little gap here. Then we'll just work our way down. All right, so I'll just leave it at that for now, just so we have that taken care of. And then, what else could we do? I guess we could start forming these shapes at the back side now. So yeah, just make sure the front is looking like this. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and add a few little details. So I'm gonna have another four stairs wrapped around right here. And then we'll go behind that and add blocks of quartz. And then for this other space, since it is just a one block space, we're just going to have a one block wide window. So a quartz stair on the top and the bottom, and then a white stained glass pane in the middle. So I'll go back, I'll show you what it looks like as of right now. And yeah, make sure to let me know if I may have went too fast on this part, or if it was slow enough, because I know it could definitely be confusing. But make sure the front side of the house is looking like this as of right now. Alright guys, now I'm at the back side of the build and we're just going to start forming all of the shapes back here now. So I'll start over here at the back right side. 
And I'm going to switch to my court stairs again. Actually, let's go ahead and just bring these straight across to the back. So we just have that all done. So just upside down court stairs right along the top edge of all of the walls. We'll stop it here. Then we'll have a slab in the corner. And then another stair and another slab. Then over here, we're just going to have an upside down stair right there. So like right up against this wall. Then we're just going to bring this straight across. We'll curve it out. Whoops. No, we got to so we'll add a block here. And then we'll like curve the stair like that. As you can see. Then right here is the corner. So we have to add a slab. Then a stair. And then a slab. The reason why we had to curve that is because if we had a slab right here and didn't curve it. Then you would have like a little empty space. Just like showing right here. So there we go. Then we'll just form a triangle shape right here. All right, we'll bring it up one more. Then we'll go down on this side and do the same thing. Okay. Now, since we're at the back side of the build, I actually forgot we need to grab some white concrete. I gotta see if there's anything I could actually get rid of. I'll go ahead and get rid of the... Huh. I guess I'll get rid of the gray concrete for now. And I'm just going to fill in all of the space behind this shape now. Alright. And then back here, we're going to have another little uh design with the court stairs again sorry if you guys could hear rain outside right now it is raining and i'm not sure if you could hear it or not and then we're just gonna have blocks of quartz back here okay and then that's basically it for the shape back here so it's looking like that is that we'll go to this side and we'll start doing this one so it's going to be a little bit different Let's grab these quartz stairs. Just push them towards the back. Then right here is the corner. So we need a slab. And so we're going to bring this in with two more stairs. Right here we have to curve this one. Then we want another slab. Then a stair and a slab. Alright, let's go to this space. We just want two upside down stairs here, but this one we have to curve. And then we want a slab, a stair, and a slab. And then we're going to have another small triangle shape right here. Alright, and then since there's just one space in the middle back here, we just need an upside down stair and then a slab. Then we'll go from the inside, fill this in with white concrete, and I don't believe I had anything for the little shape here. So we'll just leave it empty. So like the design little thing here, I didn't have anything. Okay, so I believe that is like everything for the shapes now. So we could start actually like uh, adding all of the wood, start filling in the actual roof, and then we have to like curve it into the wall right here and kind of form like a triangle shape into the wall. And then after we do that, we're able to fill in, or, like we know where to fill in all of the walls on the sides. Then we'll work our way to the back, start bringing up this wall. And then I guess I'll just go ahead I think we should still have time to do the roof for the middle section, and then that'll be it for part two. Anyways, make sure everything is looking like this right now. Alright guys, I'm at the front side now. Let's go ahead and start with our dark oak wood stairs. We'll fill in all of the space for the roof. I'll start here at the left. 
and i want to make sure i'm right at the edge of these stairs i'm gonna push this straight back uh keep in mind we do have the slabs that we have to bring up for the front porch area right here but since we're not going to be doing that right now we'll just bring this straight across and we'll worry about that all later so i'm going to bring this straight across again and we're going to stop it right here on that corner then i'm going to bring up another layer and we actually have to curve the stair into the side of the pillar like that okay then we'll go up again and we'll curve it in again So just one block further than this one is that we'll curve it like that. We'll go up again and we're just going to be doing the same thing until we have all of the layers filled in. So right here, just out one more extra block. We'll curve it in. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I'm not going to skip over anything because like I said, I know this part could be a little bit confusing. But uh, I guess I'll try and talk over this as much as I can because normally I just like leave it silent. I have the background music and that's about it. But uh, I did want to say that I am sorry for not uploading like every single day recently. It is a little bit hard because I don't live by myself. I still like live at home and all that. So it's really hard to actually have a proper schedule and record every day. So um... Yeah, that is the reason why I haven't been recording every day. And I normally, like, it really bothers me when I don't upload every day. So I do apologize for that. Anyways, we'll leave the slab. And we just brought it up, just like that. And then we'll go... Let's see, we'll go to this side. And we'll start here on this layer. And we'll curve this. We'll add a layer like that. We'll curve it in. Then we'll do the same here. So just like bring it out. We'll curve it right along there. We'll go up another layer. Bring it out an extra layer. And then just curve it in again. Alright so I'm just going to continue doing this. By the way you guys were uh, noticing that this looked very similar to my previous traditional house. And I just wanna, wanted to know if you guys like this style more. Or if you guys liked the other one. The other one is pretty old. And I actually looked back at the interior recently. And I was like whoa. This does not look good. But um, for the exterior. Let me know if you guys like this design more. Or the other one. Anyways I'm going to go on this side now. We're going to leave it like that. As you can see it is a little bit uneven. That is going to be fixed very soon. So I'm going to go on this wall. I'm just going to bring this straight across. Towards the front side. And we're just going to... We're just going to keep bringing this up until we have this entire side filled in. Once again, I'm not going to skip over it. Uh, I know the roof is probably the most difficult part of the build. Especially for a house like this because it is a little bit weird. Like the roof isn't as easy as some of my other ones could be. This one's a little bit different. So I'm just going to continue working my way up. And then as soon as we have this entire side filled in... We just have to bring up that layer right there. So it's all the same height. Okay, so I have this brought up. We're just going to stop it right there. Then what we got to do, we'll go back over here. We'll bring this towards the back side. And then we're going to stop it right on the edge of these stairs once we reach them. So right here. Then we're going to curve this into the wall again. So as you can see, it's all flowing together. It's just a little bit of a weird shape. Overall, this is how some roofs look in real life. So it doesn't bother me whatsoever. I actually think it looks really good. All right, let's go ahead and curve this, wrap it around, and then we just have one more layer with these stairs, and then we have to fill it all in with slabs. Okay, so that is the last layer right there. We do have some more stairs here, actually. But first, let's bring, let's grab our dark oak wood slabs. We'll fill in the space right here in the middle, and we'll stop it right there. Then, here, let's see. I'm trying to look at that side. You could either have the, st the slab stop right here. So I'll show you that. So I'm just going to wrap around the two layers of stairs here. So I'm just going to fill all of this in. 
so it continues flowing together. So you could either have it like this, as you can see, or what you could do is delete this, add some stair or some slabs, and then kind of curve the stairs in right here. But so it does flow a little bit better. I'm gonna delete these two slabs. And I'm going to just bring out the stairs, the extra layer, and we're going to stop the slabs right there. So I would actually uh, consider doing that instead, so it all does flow together a little bit better. But anyways, we have the roof all brought up for that side. So as long as it looks like this, then you guys are good. As long as you basically have everything filled in, then it's fine. So that is what it's looking like. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. And then we'll go to this side, we'll do the same thing. So we'll just continue on. So I'm going to have my dark oak stairs. We'll just bring this straight across like we did the other side. Like that. Then we'll go up another layer, do the same. And now on this layer, like we did on the other side, we have to curve it into the pillar. And then we just have to go up one extra layer, or like go out one extra layer and curve it in again. So right here, we just brought it out one further than this one. Then we curve it in like that. So I believe this side isn't going to be as tall as that one because the shape like isn't as wide. So let me continue bringing this. Then we'll curve it in right there. So it looks like we got two more layers and that we're going to start working our way on the other side. Okay, so we have that. There we go. And then we'll go here. Let's see. Let's see what makes it easier. I guess we'll go to this backside. We'll fill in these spaces here. Then we'll go up and curve it in again. We'll just work our way up. So uh, yeah, definitely be sure to let me know if this part is confusing for you. Let me know if I'm going too fast or if this is fine. We'll leave the slab for now. And then I'll just fill in this entire side now. So we'll start right here. And then we'll just bring this straight towards the front. So yeah, definitely be sure to let me know because I want to be sure you guys actually get this done correctly. I don't want to be going too fast. I'm also not using the Potion of Swiftness because that makes me go a lot faster. So uh, I do want to take my time because I personally don't want to mess up because I have messed up a couple times. And then I obviously don't want you guys to mess up. So I'm just going to continue wrapping this around. You guys could see, let me know if you prefer me to talk over this or if you just want to watch it. Let me know if it's easier for me to explain every single little thing or if it's easier for you to just see what I'm doing and do it yourself. That'll be very helpful as well. Okay, so I'm going to go towards the front. I'm going to bring this towards the back. Then I'm going to curve it right here. And just like that, we're going to switch to our slabs. We're going to fill in that little gap. So we have that done. Then we're going to go back up to the front. We just have two more layers. And then we have the roof on this side done. So I feel like since this all was basically uncut, the video is getting a little bit long. But um, I think we should still have time to do the middle section and then we should be good. But anyways, we curve this in just like that. Then we just have to bring up this little section here. So we got to go up another layer. So like this, and then we're just going to wrap this around. So yeah, it's, it is a little bit of a weird, a weird shape, but overall, it still doesn't look too out of the ordinary. This is just how it's going to have to be, but personally, I think it looks fine. Okay, so we have that last layer, and then we just have our slabs to finish it off right here. And there we go. So it all just like forms into a triangle shape there, and just curves into that wall. Uh, the reason why I didn't just bring the... Uh, the roof straight towards the back. Like, why did I have this shape here? Uh, it just, it really wouldn't really um, look that good if I just brought it straight across to the back side. And yeah, it just, it wouldn't look right. Uh, there would just be a wall right here for this, 
for this wall here. It just uh, would look really weird. So that's why I formed the triangle shapes. And that is actually how it should be, basically in real life. Anyways, we brought that all up. And we'll just bring up the back wall. We'll fill in the sides right along the edge of all of the stairs. And then we just have our roof to top off in the middle. And then that'll be it for part two. So make sure it is looking like this as of right now. Okay guys, I'm at the back side now. I'm going to switch to my white concrete. I'm going to go right here on this edge. And we'll add three more layers of white concrete. So it's going to be like the same as the front. So we have one, then two. And then three, except we have to skip a gap here. Place one, skip three, place one, and then just fill all of this in. Because we're going to have another doorway up here for the balcony at the back side. So we just lined it up with the front or with the door on the bottom. Okay, then... For this space, we're going to have the same window that we had down here at the bottom again. Let me get rid of the dark oak wood slabs for now. So I'm just going to mark this out so it matches the bottom window. Then we'll bring it up another three layers. So it's four in total. Then upside down quartz stairs. White stained glass panes. And then... I'll go ahead and switch to my white concrete. I'll just add a layer wrapped around this. We'll bring up these little sections right here in the middle as well. I think I brought that up to... Okay, no, we're good. Okay, and then another layer to top that off. We're going to fill this entire wall in like we did at the bottom. So as you can see, I'm just matching it up with the bottom. So uh, let's see. There we go. It's just all matched up. We'll bring up the pillars as well. Okay, and then I have my white stained glass panes. I'll bring it up four layers on each side. Let's go ahead and just put our upside down court stairs at the top first. And then we have our doorway, so four layers on each side. Curve the bottom one out and the two at the top. And I actually have to grab my dark oak, whoops, that is not dark oak, my dark oak fence for the door handles here. Alright. And that is looking good. Did I add, I added an additional layer on top of that side, so we'll do the same here. So, just a layer on top of this. I think I did that just so it makes the roof a little bit easier. Uh, if you guys remember, for this one, we had to, like, kind of go up another layer. Um, and it was just a little bit harder to do it that way. So I like to add an additional layer so we can just go right up against it with these stairs. Okay, so that is it for the back wall. Just matched up with the bottom one. So there should be four spaces in between these windows right here. And then there should be three spaces in between the stair right there at the bottom of the door and windows for that gap okay so i'm just going to fill in all of the sides and then we just have the roof that we're done once again with part two so i'm going to switch to my white concrete i'm just going to fill this in i'm just going to make sure i'm lined up with all of these stairs like this so we don't have to don't make sure not to fill this gap in because we are going to have some doorways going into here and we're gonna have like bedrooms and stuff up here so that's why i'm not bringing it straight across so i'm just gonna go right along all of the stairs because that is really all we need to do we have the interior all filled in so we can't see the outside and then we have it all filled in from the outside so we can't see in as you can see so i'm gonna keep working my way up right up against that stair and then as soon as we get up a little bit higher so we're on the last layer. As soon as we get up here, then what we got to do is completely fill all of this in, as you can see. So we actually have to, we're going to have triangle shapes here on each side. So we'll leave it at that. And then when we do our triangle shapes, we'll fill in all of the necessary space. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to fill it in like that. And then we'll continue working our way up. So just right along all of the stairs. Don't really need to overdo anything. So we just have that gap in the middle for now all right 
Then we'll go to this side. We'll do the same thing. So right next to this stair, we'll fill that in. Then two, then three, then four, and then one, two, three, four, five. We'll go here. We'll stop it right on the court stair, and then we'll just go right along the edge of the wood. Hopefully this is making sense. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. As you can see, I'm just going right up against the wood stairs. All right, one more layer. Okay, there we go. Now, we just have to start shaping out the roof on each side. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch to my quartz stairs. And I'll place some... Um, I'll place one upside down right here, and then one upside down here, and then a slab. Then a slab right there. This back side, we are going to have a balcony back here. So I'm just not going to have a layer of quartz stairs here. So don't worry about that. I'm going to leave it here for now though. So then we'll go to this side. We'll have a quartz stair, a quartz stair, a slab, and then a slab. I believe what we actually got to do is delete, or we'll just delete these because the balcony is going to continue along these stairs here. So you just want a stair and a slab like that. Just so we don't have to worry about it later. Why not? So just a stair and a slab. I thought I'd make it a little bit easier by doing it like how I normally do it. But I don't really see the point in that. We'll just leave it how it actually should be. Then, I'll just go to the front side. This side's going to be a little bit different. So it's going to be how we normally have it. So a slab, or a stair here. Then a slab. Slab in the corner. And then a stair. We're going to continue the stairs along. And then we actually have to curve this one. And then we're going to have a slab. Then a stair and a slab. So we'll go to this side. So stair, stair, slab at the corner, slab right there, and then slab right there. Oh wait, no, no slab here. We have to continue bringing this across. And then we have to curve this one. Then a slab, then a stair, then a slab. Because we're going to have a triangle shape right there in the middle. Okay. Now... Let's see what we could do first. I guess I'll start with the shape here in the middle. So you can switch to your court stairs. We'll place one right here at the corner. Then one like upside down like that. Then we'll continue working our way up. And we're going to stop it in the middle. So just like that. Then we're going to work this side up. As you can see it is going to be a space of one. As soon as we reach the middle. So we just need to have it upside down quartz stair and a slab to top it off okay so a stair and then a slab then for this space we just have to fill it in with blocks of quartz behind all of these stairs so from the front side it should be looking like that then Let's see, I guess we'll start doing all of the triangle shapes for the right and left side. So we're going to start here at the corner. We're just going to have big triangle shapes here, just the same way that we did all of the other ones. So I hope you guys got the idea for these now. So I think what I'm going to do is probably, here, I'll do this side and I'll skip over the other side. So just go ahead and bring this up until you feel like you're about in the middle. So, I think it's uh, lined up with... No, it's not lined up with that. Let's just keep going up. And I'm just going to stop it right here. Don't have to be perfect. And then we're going to start working our way up on this side. So, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Maybe if you go, like, too high or not high enough. So, I'm going to continue working my way up here. And then let's say if I go too high, like this, as you can see, I can't bring this one up anymore. So what we got to do is actually delete that layer. Then we got to continue bringing this up. So just in case if you had that problem, couldn't really figure it out. It's actually a really, really simple fix and it should be looking like that. Now I'm just going to have the same exact triangle shape on this side. So like I said, I'm just going to skip over it. So just make sure it's matched up with that one and you should be good.
Okay guys, so I finished filling in that side. So just two big triangle shapes on each side for the middle shape. And let's go ahead, switch to our white concrete, and we're going to fill in all of the remaining space that we have yet to fill in for these sides. So just make sure you're right along all of the court stairs. We'll fill all of this in. Right here, you do have to bring it straight across. And then right here as well, where the slab is. And then you can just fill in all of the remaining space. So I'm going to do this on this side, and then the same on the other side. And then we just have to fill in the roof with our wood stairs. And then we are done with part two. So I'm going to fill this in and I'll just skip over the other side. So I'll show you what this looks like. So it's all filled in on this side. And then if I go over here, there shouldn't be any empty space. And I believe I had some more of those little designs on each side like this. So you could go ahead and do the same. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention, I actually didn't use the attic space up here for this big area. It was a pretty big area, and I could have added at least maybe like two more bedrooms and bathrooms. But because this window is really tall, I had to bring up the ceilings a lot taller than I normally would have. And then there just really wasn't enough space to actually put anything up in the attic because I had these ceilings so tall. So, um... Yeah, I guess if you really actually wanted space up here in the attic, you could just lower this window. Because if you had like the ceiling like I normally have it, which is like right here, we would be cutting off the edge of the window. So you just have to simply uh, make the window a little bit smaller if you do want to still use the attic space up here to add like more bedrooms and bathrooms. Now I'm going to fill in this entire wall and then we should be good. Then we'll just do the final step. Alright, so I filled that all in. Should be looking all good. Let's do the little design here. And then blocks of quartz. So, there we go. Now, let's fill in all of the space with our dark oak wood stairs. So, don't overthink it. Just switch to your stairs. You just want to make sure it lines up with all of the edge like the edges right along the sides of the stairs, the court stairs. So just continue working your way up. Then as soon as you completely get all of the sides of the little middle space, then all you have to do is bring the stairs straight across to the other side. So I'll show you that here in a second. So I believe we're on, we have like, okay, we have one more layer and then we have our slabs. So what I'm going to do is stop it here. Then I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to start working my way up on this side. Alright, so I'm going to curve this straight across. Then I'm going to switch to my slabs. Which I have right here. I'm going to fill this in. And you can stop it right here on the edge of all of the stairs that we brought up. Now, we got to switch back to our stairs. And like I said, we're just going to bring this straight across to the other side. And then you just want to keep doing that until you bring it all the way up to the top. And then you just want to go down the back side, straight across, back and forth, until you have that entire side filled in. And then we are done. So, I'll just work my way up here. And then I'll probably just skip over it. Then we just have to work our way down at the back side. I'll show you what it looks like after. It's not too hard. It's how I normally do my roof. So I'll see you guys when I have this all filled in. All right, well, real quick, I have the front side filled in. Keep in mind, we still have to add our windows in the roof, which actually aren't even going to be used since I decided not to have any space up in the attic. So it's more as like an exterior decoration instead of an actual window. But anyways, I'll go to the back side. I'm just going to fill all of this in. Just go straight back and forth along each side. I believe right here, I actually had slabs for the balcony. But what I'm going to do is completely fill all of this in. And we'll worry about that later. So I believe we might end up deleting this layer of wood. But 
just so we don't get confused let's just fill it all in and we'll worry about that like i said later when we actually get to doing that balcony all right guys i'm just now finishing up with the roof so that is going to be it for part two so this is what the backside's looking like, just all completely filled in, and we are going to have some little extra windows uh, in part three, which we're going to be adding. So make sure it is looking like this. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for part two on how to build this traditional house. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part three later. <laughs> I'm alone, I'm a broken home, I gave you that I own and know I'm letting go I'm breaking these walls down Breaking these walls down If you want an adventure then fly to home But if you want to travel then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us?